Hello everyone, I am Feng Wei from Eek's Department of York University. I am glad to introduce our Workphone Net, a memory-efficient Fourier-based orthogonal network for object recognition. Deep convolutional neural networks have made significant progress on various tasks in recent years. Current successful deep CNN such as ResNet and DenseNet typically include over 100 layers and require large amounts of training data. Training these models becomes computationally and memory intensive, especially when limited resources are available. Therefore, it is essential to reduce the memory consumption to enable network training and deployment in memory constrained systems, such as applying deep CNNs to embedded systems and portable devices. The contributions of our paper are as follows. First, a new CNN architecture named Phonet is proposed that performs convolution and activation in the spectral domain. Feature maps are thresholded and compressed to allow reducing model memory by only computing and saving non-zero entries. Secondly, we propose an approach to preserving the sparsity property and ensuring effective network convergence during training. Specifically, a spectral domain activation function is applied to both the real and imaginary parts of the input feature maps. Thirdly, we propose an approach to compensate for the loss from pruning on the spectrum, namely, introducing the orthogonal layer into training. Last, extensive experiments are conducted to show the effectiveness of Phonet using different architectures at multiple computer vision tasks. For example, a Phonet implementation of dense net architecture can reach up to a 60% reduction of the memory consumption on the FVHN dataset without significant loss of accuracy, 96.2% testing accuracy compared with 98.2% accuracy of the original implementation. The key idea of Phonet rests on the observation that feature maps, like most natural images, tend to have compact energy in the spectral domain. The compression can be achieved by retaining non-trivial values while zeroing out small entries. A threshold can be applied to configure the compression rate where larger threshold values result in more zeros in the spectral domain feature maps. As with existing CNNs that operate in the spatial domain, the elemental phone net, operating in the spectral domain, also consists of three layers, convolutional layers, activation layers and pooling layers as shown at the bottom half of figure. In contrast to previous studies that simply use the FFT to accelerate network training, our Phonet represents a new design of the network architecture for convolution, tensor compression, and activation in the spectral domain and can be applied to both forward and backward propagation in network training and inference. More recently, an orthogonal framework has been proposed to learn neural networks in either supervised or unsupervised ways. This figure shows a convolution layer in CNNs may be viewed as an orthogonal layer. It is not necessary to explicitly define the data distribution of the model layer since it can be learned automatically via supervised learning criteria. The motivation to introduce the orthogonal layer into training is to compensate for the loss from pruning on the spectrum. We evaluate the proposed Phonet using four widely used CNN architectures including Linet, AlexNet, VGG and DenseNet. When compared with their original implementations, all Phonet implementations of the four models can save at least 55% memory with negligible loss of accuracy. It indicates the feasibility of compressing feature maps within the Phonet framework. While the Phonet typically compresses the models, there is a penalty in the form of increased error in comparison to the original model with full spatial feature maps. The average accuracy of FO Alex Net, FO VGG, and FO Dense Net can be higher than 96% when the threshold is smaller than 1.0. This table compares the computation time of the FO Net implementation on the four different models over the same range of threshold values from 0.5 to 1.5. With increasing threshold value, all four Phonet models show a monotonic increase in time consumption. The average time consumption of Pho Alex Net, Pho VGG, and Pho Dense Net can be equivalent or less when the threshold is smaller than 1.0. This table shows a comparison between Phonet and other recently published memory efficient models. 
The experiments investigate memory consumption when training VGG and DenseNet on the Safar 10 dataset. For each algorithm, we selected the most memory efficient performance that still retains the testing accuracy of at least 90%. The Phonet outperformed all the listed algorithms and resulted in the lowest memory consumption while maintaining high testing accuracy. Thank you for listening. 